Hi, I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Thanks for watching us. Our first alert forecast goes like this today. During the daylight hours, this is going to be our last really quiet and easy weather pattern period because once we get into tonight and really going through the weekend, there's going to be lots of differences, lots of changes and eventually getting wintry. First things first today, sunniest, brightest this morning with increasing mid to late, late afternoon cloud coverage. And while there will be no wind this morning, that'll be a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind this afternoon. But into tonight, that's when the wind starts a rocking. There are going to be wind advisories for the North Country and likely for higher elevations. That's where the winds will be strongest figure tonight. It's mainly rain, at least for lower elevations in Syracuse. And there might be a little wintry mix at times with the best possibility of a little light mixture. Maybe a quick little icing might be the Mohawk Valley north into the Adirondacks before it changes to rain there too. The winds for lower elevations increase to 20 to 30 sustained with higher gusts. Highest elevations should have 30 to 40 mile per hour winds with gusts past 50. Now in and of itself, that's already quite a bit of change, but we're just getting started. So like I've mentioned, it's our last easy weather day. We've mentioned the rain and winds tonight. Well, we go into Friday and rain will change over to snow during the day Friday. It's still a little tricky on how and when that occurs, but I'm pretty confident that at least the lower elevations will probably wind up either with rain that ends as wet snow with no accumulation or something very sloppy or hardly anything. Highest hills might get a smidge of snow that does actually stick. We head into Friday night and the weekend and there's a better chance of the snow to actually stick. Anyway, as you look across the area, we have the brightest weather with sunshine right now and then sun will give way to increasing and thickening clouds. Now, while it's quiet again today, the changes start tonight. As we've mentioned, high near 45. We've mentioned those wind speeds already. It gets windy tonight. Now, notice that the rain moves in. Now, you see there's a little pink and blue on this map. Do you notice that at least during the nighttime hours, most of it, there might have been a little quick sleet of freezing rain in Syracuse, but I, I think most of any kind of prolonged sleet of freezing rain is probably going to wind up Utica, Little Falls, Herkimer, Old Forge, Adirondacks, Eastern Mohawk Valley, and maybe the Route 12 and 28 quarters. Just heads up there. Overnight might be a little colder there. On Friday, there's going to be, as the system is pulling through, there will likely be a period of heavier precipitation. And you notice it right in here with this yellow and rain, and then on the backside, some snow. Like I mentioned yesterday, as this is happening, it's trying to convert over to snow. And if you watch, with time on Friday, that does occur. But because the temperature is going to be around 40 in the morning, it's going to be really tough to actually accumulate. Now, with respect to actual accumulations, well, during the daytime on Friday, while it's possible, it could be more. I, my gut's telling me, again, with this borderline situation temperature-wise and with it occurring during the daylight hours, I'm figuring that the lowest elevations and anyone that doesn't have any color on the map probably either see all the snow, even if it comes down hard, melting or maybe a sloppy coating to an inch. Hilltowns might be able to squeeze out up to two inches, but again, that's probably going to be elevation dependent with the highest elevations having the two and on trees and ca cars and lawns and farms and maybe not exactly on the roads. So it's also a surface dependent forecast. We look ahead to Friday night and that's when we convert mainly to all snow in through here, which is why I think there's a better chance of getting an inch or two of snow. Sunshine forecast here, probability forecast there, seven day forecast, cnycentral.com.